All right, what's up guys? Glad you could join us again. <laughs> I am uh, here in Tennessee visiting my parents and uh, I had plans to go out and fly with a bunch of guys in Tennessee and shoot some content with you that way, but unfortunately it's raining all weekend here, so that isn't going to be possible. So instead, uh, what I had in mind is I have been wanting to try out different firmware. So I fly Betaflight a lot. I've flown KISS in the past, haven't been flown it in a while. I've been trying testing out Race Flight and liking what I saw. And I want to test KISS again because I know from friends of mine that it's really reached um, a mature stage. And so I want to give it a shot, but I want to give it the best shot. And so my KISS gear is very old. The ESCs are very our first gen. And so in order to get the newest firmware with D-Shot and everything on them, I need to go through and solder up a FTDI adapter to it and get it flashed over to the newest firmware so that I have a bootloader and can update it further from that. So uh, one thing that I've always been good at is using Google to learn everything. I've never been an expert at anything, but being good at Google makes me good at everything. I wanted to bring you along and show you the process of how I learn how to do things that are everyday necessities yep, to flying FPV. Board. So uh, let's go get to it. And we're just going to start off here with Google because uh, everything starts at Google. It's an easy way to get going. KISS ESC firmware update. Okay. And we have the Flyduino website loading. All right. How to flash the KISS 24 amp race edition ESC. That is what we have. Connect the USB UART to one ESC. We got one ESC. Unmount all propellers. Not a problem, it's not even on the uh, quad. Connect the USB UART to your computer and power the ESC. That doesn't sound right. That is confusing. Okay. Next link. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar's always here to help me out. That's what I'm looking for. This has the same FTDI adapter that we are going to be using today. Focus, not the face. That's right, the thing. So he's got the same FTDI adapter that we're gonna be using. Looks like a ground, a TX, a RX. All right, what do we need? Tools required, USB to serial, three in one pin. You got that XT60 wire with crocodile clips. LiPo battery for powering on the ESC. Okay, so here's the layout of the pads. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna need the art. Wait, where's the software I need? Okay, let's get some software. So, I've got uh, our, the Arduino software on all my other computers. This is just a fairly new laptop for me, so we're downloading it here. So we got the uh, Arduino. Now we're gonna get the STM32 flasher. This had better not be Windows only. And it is Microsoft only. All right guys, so we've got all, we found our tutorial here on Oscar Liang's website. I hope I said your name right, buddy. And um, we got all everything gathered, we're ready to flash. We got our uh, FTDI adapter here. And we got a KISS24. Uh, we got the software installed on my computer and Nancy's computer who was nice enough to lend, lend me her Windows machine since my tablet is in Atlanta. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to do the soldering connections on the, uh, on the KISS 24 amp ESC. So luckily I have this handy dandy uh, little portable soldering iron that's powered off of a XT60 connector so that uh, I can make repairs in the field. And I'm going to use this since I'm on the road this week and it's a uh, it's really nice super quick to uh, to warm up and once that hits 300 degrees we are ready to go bop, bop, bop. now the first thing we're gonna do is we want to connect the uh, the TX RX and ground on the KISS ESC so we're gonna go from uh, RX on the FTDI adapter to the TX on the KISS ESC because they're talking to each other. So the FTDI adapter will talk out of the TX and then the KISS will receive off the RX. That's why we got TX to RX, not TX, TX, and RX, RX. Okay, 
And we're going to wire on our XT60 adapter as well. Let's go right here. So we got our wiring connected here, just like on the uh, the uh, suggested. So at this point, just the RX to TX, TX to RX, and ground to ground, along with our XT60 connector. Now we are ready to connect to the computer to use Arduino. Fire up Arduino, and once the Arduino is up and running, now here's a quick tool, quick tip. I have for making sure that you're on the correct uh, port because I, I go ahead and fire up Arduino prior to connecting my uh, connect FTDI adapter and you just check look under ports and you see we have two so make a note of which two we have here we might even be able to pop it up as we plug it in so there's the two that we have and now after we have three. So you're going to select the one that wasn't there before. Makes sense, right? Very easy, quick way to, uh, to check. So once we have uh, our FTDI plugged into the computer, now we are going to go and select the, or plug in the XT60. So now we're plugged in. And we're going to come over here on the Arduino software to under tools serial monitor so once you're in serial monitor you want to make sure that both NL and CR and 11520 are uh, are selected so we got that step and then we type info alright so now info boom we got our serial number for the KISS ESC. Now we're going to move over to Nancy's computer because she has this sweet Windows PC so that we can do the things that we need to do here. Okay, so we've gone over to the Ultra ESC website and we need to put in that hex. Now if you're doing all this on a Windows PC, which I would recommend, it's going to be really easy. You just copy and paste it out of Arduino into here. Since I'm working with two separate computers, I'm just going to type it in uh, and make sure that I got it all right. Two, two, three, two, three, two, three, three, Okay, so you got that, and now we're just going to scroll down. We're going to click the get hex file. All right, so we already have the. Uh, the flash loader before connecting the ESC to a computer. Make sure you've shorted the bootloader pads. Okay. Boom. Now that's shorted. We're going to connect the ESC to the computer and then power the ESC up. Now we want to make sure we select a baud rate of 57600. There we go. Okay, so the port showed up. It took a little if you're having trouble getting the uh, the port to, to show up on the uh, STM32 flasher, just you know unplug and replug a couple of times. The same goes for Arduino. I've had it not want to give me the info. Um, just unplug the power, unplug the USB, reconnect everything. Eventually you're gonna get it. So I've got the port up here. Uh, we selected the baud rate of 57.6, and now so that now we want to press next. Yes. Okay. So we do want to remove protection. That sounds scary. Full device erase. Press OK. All right, well, we'll press OK. Target is readable. Target is readable. Click Next. All right, next again. Aha, now we're ready to select our hex file. So, Gonna select download to device. Uh, global erase. Pick our hex file. All right, we don't have any S19 files. If we're not doing an S19. So you go over here in the bottom right hand corner and you click hex files. 
I think you should be able to see the hex file that you just downloaded. Open that bad boy up. Also tick verify after the download. And then click next. There it goes. Downloading the data. All right, disconnect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, desolder the bootloader pads and all of the connections that we put on the KISS24. And basically you just have to do this to each one of your ESCs. And once you've updated to the 1.02, now we can just go in the KISS ESC firmware. Or the, not the KISS. Into the KISS GUI and, uh, and flash our ESCs much easier. So, I got some more modern ESCs again, and I'm ready to go and try out the KISS flight controller. So check back in, I'll probably have some tutorials on figuring out how to use that thing again. And I appreciate you joining us today. Click over here to uh, subscribe, probably got some suggested videos, and come back and check in again tomorrow, I'll have something new for you. Thanks guys!